Dobré odpoledne, dámy a pánové, dobré odpoledne, paní předsedkyně, páni kolegové, páni náměstí. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, dear colleagues. Uh, I'm glad that we are meeting here, so many of us this afternoon. Uh, the ministers are no longer here, they are very busy, but I hope the information will get to them in a concentrated form. It has been said, I'll speak about specific outputs of uh, what technical sciences and education have done. I'll speak about the products uh, and development in this fragmented field. Uh, I could speak about uh, our experience for a long time, but the topic we have chosen and we have consulted uh, with uh, uh, Deputy Mr. Dolacek uh, is to have a, a, a survey of what this uh, emergency is meant for universities and colleges uh, and uh, what we have prepared for possible future crisis, because this must be the, I would say, first third of this crisis related to a threat to public health. I would like to speak about the strategic importance of technical sciences on a general level about a transformation of technical universities in the society and see it as a reflection of this crisis. Uh, we should look at the present and also at the future, at what uh, we can really derive from the present situation for future solutions. Uh, what uh, we have been through could be summed up uh, in several points uh, because they should serve uh, as a starting point uh, in an unexpected emergency. Many processes <coughs> were enabled that otherwise would be very slow as for some details uh, of uh, what uh, we do at universities and especially technical ones uh, or natural sciences. I would like to sum up what uh, we have seen over the last six months in the media. And what we have seen is an overall effort to be involved, to participate, to help the society, starting with materials such as face masks, respirators in many versions made by universities, protective shields, lung ventilators. Many universities have also produced sanitizers, or manufactured sanitizers, and also artificial intelligence was applied to improve security or a smart quarantine. What is also very important is the fact that during the crisis, uh, there was uh, excellent uh, collaboration uh, among universities. It's not so common to set up such good relations. Uh, and also very intense cooperation of universities and uh, businesses, companies, which uh, in fact, together with universities and other institutions and the Academy of Sciences, at the beginning of the crisis, self-organized. So uh, they really got together very fast, as fast as they could. 
we should stress that this self-organization in our society happened, and I regard it as uh, an important aspect uh, of what we have gone through. This very fast development of ideas, uh, which uh, in uh, universities are part of uh, university activities, and but they, these ideas suddenly had to be transformed and uh, really put to use. So that's something we should remember for the future. And I am sure that it's something uh, to remember. At the beginning of the crisis, uh, it was also important to establish a system of fast funding, which depended on the sources of universities, companies, and the public also organized many collections. This money was available almost immediately. Uh, that is fast money that enabled this fast uh, response was followed uh, by the government and uh, of course state institutions uh, are a bit slower and because they have to use uh, the competition principle. Uh, all this knowledge is important for possible future crises. The entire research structure, uh, the knowledge of natural sciences uh, uh, at universities, uh, was available at the time when it was needed. Uh, well, I mean, there was the entire, entire knowledge, not just the knowledge regarding something unpredictable. We cannot expect uh, what uh, exact uh, part of knowledge will need in the future to be able to respond. So, from uh, this unusual angle, we then uh, got something we uh, needed. For example, the work of Dr. Stimal, who collaborated with us. He specializes in nano aerosols, a topic which was on the margin. But still, this has saved many lives, not just here, but it was an information that helped to, to improve face mask, and it has helped to save lives. So we can never know which part of applied research can uh, help. So that's why it's necessary to promote the entire uh, base. Another thing that was uh, on the back burner, uh, it's Professor Robig and the history of 25 years of developing special, although not frequently used, lung ventilation methods, and they could suddenly be used. So that's why a lung ventilator could be manufactured very quickly. I just want to give it as an example that we should have a large knowledge base developing in all directions. As the President Jimala said, the academy covers almost all uh, disciplines. And that is uh, so that is what we have gone through. Now we are 
uh, at a point or in a situation when the epidemic seems to be under control. There are many experts who know that this is a very fragile balance. But, uh, well, this is the summer. People have a stronger immunity or the manifestations of the disease are not so prominent. But elsewhere in the world, the situation is much worse. And uh, only such a simple thing like wearing masks, uh, something that uh, we managed to come with uh, and to promote. Uh, in other countries, it was quite a big battle. Even the WHO was against it first. But our idea uh, was good, and WHO has admitted that wearing masks uh, helps. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they admitted this too late, uh, so it costs some human lives. Uh, uh, let me say that this is an idea coming from the Czech Republic, if you want to say how have we contributed to what's going on in the world. So face masks come from the Czech Republic, Czechia. Now we want to take a rest. The public wants to have some rest, not, not experts. And just people want to relax um, and maybe forget about masks and uh, see each other. But the question is, what's ahead of us? I am certain there'll be another round uh, of uh, this uh, game with the virus. As Dr. Karvalenka said, the virus is so smart. But uh, I think the virus is only one of the things uh, that will bother us. Uh, there is uh, also the psychological impact, uh, social impact, uh, rising poverty, also in some parts of the world, even shortage of food. These will be uh, bigger. Uh, bigger impacts than the disease itself. Uh, that is why uh, it will mean looking for new solutions, uh, how to help people, how to help economy, or work with uh, data. The issue of data explosion regarding the epidemic and correlations and what's happening in the process, uh, there's a lot of it, and uh, not to be confused or misled by false correlations. Uh, uh, this is a very complicated task. Uh, in terms of data. So, from the technical platform, we expect new ideas and also completing the existing solutions which are being planned, which are now organized, but everything that's within the potential of technical universities should be also included in crisis plans of uh, the uh, government or governments uh, of the world so that we use uh, we can use the structure that is available and uh, also obey some rules it does not concern only a medical catastrophe, but also cyber security or other, other crises, cyber attacks. 
In this respect, I would like to confirm what we have heard today. For me and other university presidents, universities are part of the critical infrastructure of the state. And I am sure that the, it has been confirmed that the autonomous response of skilled experts has helped that we could really get up, face the crisis, and this can be even generalized for future possible crisis. How does the role of technical universities in society change? In the last months, we could see that research knowledge is a strategic material but uh, we have to be able to develop our know-how and we have to have it in the first place uh, to cope with a problem that can arise. And I'm sure that we'll no longer hear that uh, financing universities is a black hole. Knowledge must be accumulated, saved, and for universities and also the Academy of Sciences, uh, we know that uh, universities are the places where it happens. So we should not forget uh, what is marginal either. Funding research and gathering know-how is similar on the informational level as uh, when we acquire ammunition. Without ammunition, the army would be no good. So depending on the knowledge, we know that if uh, suddenly there is something we cannot buy from abroad, we'll not be able to act. So uh, here is where the strategic role of universities lies, and also other institutions, of course, uh, that uh, at the moment can be compared with the strategic importance of uh, the armed forces. Also, there is a third role of universities, at least as we, the presidents, can see it. We want to be a part of a strategic system that will preserve the state. So, we want to participate in emergency plans using the gained experience. Uh, I'm now speaking about universities, but there are whole consortiums of companies collaborating with universities. So we now have an excellent base, a uh, uh, platform of partners who can respond dynamically. This is what we want to transform uh, so that the, uh, the government can use it. Working under pressure, what we have experienced, and recalling conditions the state of Israel uh, is ex has been experiencing for a long time, has also shown how we can simplify administration, paperwork, and so on. During the state of emergency, this has uh, worked very nicely. And I would be happy if all these solutions could remain functional for a long time so that they don't come back in a yo-yo effect, factors that would slow down 
uh, work. Uh, well, we all know we have our legislation, but we should remember that uh, over regulation, uh, too much bureaucracy slows us down. Even some grant awarding systems which are too slow in such a situation. And last but not least, I think there is also now a percentage, growing percentage of companies which see collaboration with universities as something positive. When I was a deputy dean in the future, we focused on how universities are seen as the right or ideal partner uh, for, for company. And this was a very low percentage, while now companies can see that collaborating with universities is positive, as well as with, with the Academy of Sciences. So. I hope we will be uh, or useful in this sense. Are there some take-home messages? Uh, I have written 10 points that uh, characterize my current feelings. Let me share them with you. First, universities are a knowledge and competence base for handling crises. Universities, especially natural scientists, technical uh, disciplines can help to, to uh, develop new products, they must be supported. Universities should be financed uh, just as well as the armed forces. I spoke about ammunition. Uh, also, uh, to uh, handle sudden crisis, uh, there must uh, be a joint plan of universities and the state government. Uh, all five, uh, there must be strategic capacities for predictable crises. There can be even unpredictable crises, but it would be good to uh, maybe do a mental research of what might be ahead of us. Uh, six, you need to pick information about the situation of companies and universities to do a fast matching, especially in places where the network does not exist. So we can respond fast. For a rapid response, you also need rapid funding, so I'm not sure how to arrange it uh, by legislation, but you need some fast money that can be um, made available in other countries. Uh, this uh, has happened, uh, I think, faster than our system allowed it. But companies, universities, and the public uh, have helped, although that's not a system solution. So other possibilities should be found. Then for innovation and an adequate res response, uh, uh, we complain of uh, bureaucracy. So for that reason, you must minimize bureaucratic procedures. And when you invest into universities, you increase the strategic possibilities of the state at a time of a crisis when the state must rely on its own resources. This should be remembered uh, to be able to realize what scientific activities mean. And also, uh, each piece of knowledge can be used, because none of us know what will happen in the future. Maybe on the 1st of January, none of us uh, really suspected what would happen. So uh, we should not just guess uh, uh, which knowledge is more important than uh, another piece of knowledge. That's why uh, knowledge must be developed harmoniously to be able to respond to future challenges.